Build your life in Christ and be transformed by the power of His Word. Here's a Christian Life program brought to you by Christian Life Center Davao. Every Monday from 8.30 to 9 in the morning, right here on Mango Radio. And now, here's Bishop Curly Montes, the Senior Pastor of Christian Life Center, for his sermon. We would like also to, to do a series, a uh, Kadayawan series. You know, ang logo sa Davao is, life is here. Everybody say, life is here. But uh, do you really have that kind of life? What kind of life is here? So we are going to uh, uh, encourage you to bring your friends. Uh, every Sunday we'll be talking about life uh, in uh, celebration po sa atong kadayawan. But we will be talking about the real kind of life, mga kaigsunan. Because some people just simply exist but not living. If ever they are living, they simply make a living and not life. We have to understand, brothers and sisters, that there is more than making a living. There is more than making money. We are talking about life. We are talking about your life. We are talking about the life of your children. We are talking about the life of other people. So, brothers and sisters, it is very important to understand life. You know, the word life comes from two Greek words. It comes from bio and zoe, which has two different meanings. Bio means uh, physical life. Kanang atong kinabuhi karon, naginawa ba ka? Gunitin na imong katupabi kung init pa ba na o naginawa pa ba na? Sometimes naginawa pa ka while all the biological parts of your body, your organs are functioning, you are alive. But life is not just until bio. Because there is a higher form of life, which is zooey. That is the God kind of life. That is eternal life. John chapter 10, verse 10. Jesus said, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The word life there comes from the Greek word zooey, which means abundant life. Are we experiencing abundant life? They said that in Davao, life is here. Pero ang, til, pa, ang tanong po natin, ang tayo mga Dabawin yo, are we really experiencing that abundant life? Importante kaya nga itong masabta na mga kaigsuunan. Because aside from the bio kind of life, Gusto sa ginoo nga masinati ka ng kinabuhi nga iyas ginoo. Which is long and satisfied life. It's not just long life, but you've got to have a satisfied life. Are you satisfied with your life? It's got to be abundant life. Mauna plano sa ginoo sa atong kinabuhi mga kaigsuunan. Let's open our Bibles to Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 17. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but wise. Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. So, naging si Apostle Pablo, be very careful how you live. It's not just having life, but how do you live your life? That makes the difference. Because a lot of people, nasila life, but they don't really live it according to the will of God. That's why daghang mga problema, kinabuhi. Ang uban gani ang mga tao, uh, magpakamatay na lang sila, tungod kay dili sila kontinto sa kinabuhi. They want to earn their lives. So, how do we live? You know, be careful how you live. So, life is here. Ang tanong, how to live your life. According to this verse, live it carefully, live it wisely, live it usefully, and live it purposely. This is going to be our series this month. Mone atong isgutan. Karong si Manaha, we'll be talking about live it carefully. Next Sunday, we'll be talking about live it wisely. 
Next Sunday, we'll be talking about usefully, and the last Sunday of the month of August, we'll be talking about purposely. God has a purpose for your life. So I would like you nga, ina mo katupad, why absinai, ha? Kana mga absinut diha, no? Come here. Because we want to un- you to understand what life really is. Kung tinuod man nga, life is here in Dabao. Dapat ang numero uno nga maka-experience sa kinabuhi kita mismo. Kay basig naglungtad ra ka pero dili ka buhi. You just simply exist but not living. Okay. Live it carefully. Mani atong topic karon. Live carefully. Everybody say live carefully. Live carefully. Na nga life is fragile. Live it with care. You know? Fragile. Alam po ninyo mga kapatid, yung buhay mo is very fragile. Gamay lang sipiat, you can be gone. Sama sa gitistimony ni Francis. Pagtabok ni mo sa kalsada, pwede ka maligsan diha. My wife and I had been through that. We almost died. You know, in a split second, if you are not careful with your life, you are gone. That is why, live it carefully. Because life is fragile. Okay. So, uh, we'll be talking about care. How to live your life? You have to live it carefully. So, uh, we'll, we'll discuss the word care. This is how to live carefully. Unsa on imo pag kinabuhi nga careful ka sa imong kinabuhi. Ha? Ayaw pag tagya. Sa binisaya pa ng careless, tagya man na siya. No? Kanang sa man ng tag... Oh? Danghag lang, no? Uh, you know, not, not careful. Magmatngon ta. No? Sa binisaya pa, magmatngon. Ingnay mo katubad bi, pagmatngon kanunay. Okay, let's discuss the word C or letter C. The word C is circumspect. Tingali, nagdugo ang inyong ilong. Ano saan ang circumspect? Sa King James Version, itong atong gibasa, see then that you walk circumspectly. That is the other term for carefully. Circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. So, sa maning a word nga circumspect. Ang word nga circumspect, ang meaning ana, careful to look at things. Or, uh, careful to look all possibilities before action. Cautious, aware of consequences. In other words, ang, ang, ang circumspect simply means pagmatngon. No? Hinay, hinay lang. Okay? Be careful to look at all possibilities before you make an action. Ang problema man kung nato ikso, dali ra ka ita mo action. Pero wa sa nato, huna, huna, ah! Unsay konsekwensa ni? Pagpangulitaw, sugot na yun. Wa huna, huna, ah! Unsa man yung tawhana ni? Iya banis ginoo o yawa nagpadalaan eh. Kamu mga dalaga diha sa di pa mo musugot, ayaw pagdali-dali. Mo ni buti pa sabot sa circumspect, ayaw pagdali-dali. Kay ang magdali, mabali. Nami panulti ni Pastor Lagat, nagdali ta, pero dili na to dali-dali on. Utro na ko na ate yung mga dalaga diha nga nagdalik ng maminyo. Kay murang sobra na intaon ang iidad sa kalendaryo. Pero, yes, magdalik ta. Kay hapit na mo balik ba yung ginoo. Pero ayaw pagdalik-dalik. Muna ibuti pa sabot sa circumspect. Dili na to dali-dali on. Kung naa kay negosyo nga giplanuhan, yes, nakita ni mo ang mga possibilities. Pero ayaw dali-dali ah. Every decision you have, you have to consider it. Pros and cons. That is how to live carefully. No? O sa may consequence, ane? 
Kung sa may resulta ni, makaayo ba ni kanako? Okay, nai-offer ka mo pag-abroad. Salamat sa ginoo. Wow, opportunity na niya. Mag-dollar ang akong kita. Pero sultihan tayo mong makaigsunan. Dili itong kitwa ka sa US o sa America o sa Europe. Dato na ka. Dili, ipunit ang dolyar dito. Daghan kayo mga kristuhanon nga. Grabe ka dasig din. Pag-abot dito, nawala na sa pagpangalagal sa ginoo. Ha? So, una-unao na ito. Will this sa uh, enhance, no? Maka-strengthen ba niya sa akong pagtuo? Mukita man ko, okay ba sa akong pamilya? Mau na makikisunan buti pa sa buti sa circumspect. In ako yung giswati ni, we often suffer circumstances because we don't circumspect, we simply circumvent. Pila man ka ninyo din hinag-suffer o consequences. May mga circumstances sa inyong life. Nyadili mga maayo nga circumstances because you don't circumspect. We simply circumvert or circumvent. Ang buti pa sa buti sa circumvent, no? You don't go directly to the point. Imo sang di analyze, pero you know, libot libot sa kaka ng circumvent makag suunan. Tilaw tilaw ragod ko nonsa kung okay, you know, dilita makadrit so ba? Yung daghang kayo ing ana ba? We want to circumvent. We try these things, but you know. Especially, I always address this to young people because there are some young people here. We try to circumvent, convent. We try to, you know, explore things, especially say mong relationship, and we end up filling or falling into circumstances in our lives. Live circumspectly. That is how to live carefully. Number two, letter A. Stands for be alert. Be alert. First Peter chapter five verse eight. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking for everyone to devour. I compare ang atong kalaban dere ang kaaway ng yawa ng muran na siya gliyon ng nagangulub ngulub. Naghulat kinsay iyang matukub. That is why you have to be alert. Kita ta sa mga National Geographic, kanang mga Discovery Channel, kanang mga Animal Channels. Dito sa jungle, di ba? Na yung mga leon dito yung suon. And they are just pahipi-hipi lang diha sa Daplin. Seeking whom he may devour. Muagi ang mga gazelle or kanang mga deer or mga baka, ano, you know, zebra. Kung dili sila mag-careful, makigsuunan na ana na idiha. Ugluksuhan dahil nila, di ba? And then they are going to eat them. Yung nga na ang picture. Muna nga, dili ta, magtagya, pataka lang ta. You have to be very alert. Magmatmon po ka. Because, lain nga description sa yawa, he is Like a wolf clothed with sheep clothing. Ng murag karniro, murag anghel, no? He will come to you as an angel of light, the devil. Kung tintalon ka sa yawa, ikso, hindi man manintal ang yawa sa imo nga nagsigang mata, may pangil. Di ba? Dili nga na, dili murag horror movie. Maabot siya diha sa imo in a form of guwapa ka ayaw nga babay. Hallelujah. Ayaw pagkumpiyansa kay basig tukbon ka anak. Muagi siya sa wapo kayo nga lalaki. Ayaw kumpiyansa. Basig liyon na. Be careful. Be alert. You know, sa King James Version, ang translation diha sa sa 1 Peter, New King James Version, Be sober and be vigilant. Ang word nga alert diha, mao na ang iyang original nga Greek word no sa koan ang ang translation ana is vigilant because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Vigilant. Ang word nga vigilant gikan sa pulong nga Gregorio. Gregorio. I don't know how they pronounce it. Masabot yung pasabot sa Gregorio. 
to keep awake and watch. Matngun kanunay. Be alert. Ayaw tulog tulog. Inay mo katupad bi. Ayaw tulog tulog. Nay uban sa inyo diha igsuon nag samtang nagwali si pastor nang atulog no be alert amen ah uh, pero dili lang sa simbahan makaigsuonan daghan kay makristohanon nga gitulog-tulogan lang ang ilang kristohanong kinabuhi you know kinahanglan mo matata be alert no be sober ang uh, uh, another word dire oh before vigilant be sober be vigilant ang word nga sober kanang not intoxicated dili maghubog-hubog kay ang taong palahubog at taong adik dili na siya sober di na siya maka huna-huna og maayo di ba kana mga tao nga kuan mag mag-drive ka or whatever kadaghanan nang nga disgrasya tungod kay dili sober dili sila alerto dili sila vigilant so mga vigilante ta and when it comes to serving God in our lives, let's be careful and let's be very vigilant. No, magmatngon ta, magbantay ta sa mga butang nga moabot sa atong kinabuhi. Mga tentasyon nga modangat sa atong kinabuhi kay basig maunay makatukob sa imong kinabuhing Kristohanon. So be vigilant. Number 3. Be ready. Naging din sa Matthew chapter 24 verse 44. So also you must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect Him. Remember this life is too short. You don't know when the Lord will come again or kung kanus akakuhaon sa ginoo. You have to be ready. Mag-prepare ka. To be ready is to be prepared. Amos chapter 4 verse 12. All this I have done to you, O Israel. And this is why I have done it. Time's up. O Israel, prepare to meet your God. Time's up. There is going to be a time's up. Dili pwede nga dunay extension. When God says time's up, it's over. Di ka ingon nga Lord, extension gamay. Time's up. I don't know, pila na lang kaminuto, pila na lang kaadlaw. But there is going to come a time about ang time's up sa imong kinabuhi. And when God says, time's up, you have to be ready. You don't get ready after your time is up. Mag-andam kada ang karun. That is why this life, according to uh, Rick Warren, this life here on earth is just a dress rehearsal for eternity. What is 70 years or 80 years, 90 years compared to eternity? Nganong nakakadini, why do you live your life carefully? Because kinahanglan, kinabuhi yung nato ni, kinaay kinabuhi, luyo ni ning kinabuhi ah. And that is a long, long period of time. How long is eternity? How big and how wide is eternity? If you will, if you, if I am, I, I will use an illustration of an ocean. Pwede na ito makumparar nga mauna ang picture sa eternity. An ocean. Your life is just a drop of water in the ocean. Ang imong si tinta katuig o tinta katuig o sala na kapatak sa tubig nga gipatak sa ocean. That's how short your life is. Mao na nga atong pangandaman ng atong eternity. Kadaghana na atong giandaman, kiniram ang atong life here on earth. Daghantag gipangandaman ang atong retirement. Natay SS, natay JSIS, natay PhilHealth, kung magkasakit. Nangandam ta, disgrasya kung sa nga na, accident plan, na ay college plan. I don't know, kung sa daghana kayong plan, napag ito memorial plan. But the problem is, kadaghanan natong gipangandaman ang atong kinabuhi karon. Have you ever prepared for the next life? It is appointed unto man once to die, but after that, the judgment. Naabakay eternal plan? 
Ang uban nato natay memorial plan pero walay eternal plan. Ayaw pagingon nga ay unya na ko kung tiguang na. Diha na ko mga lagad sa Ginoo kung you know, pero karon samtang bata pa ko okay lang. Dili igsuon kay wa ka kahibaw kung kano sa kakuhaon sa Ginoo. Kay ang kamatayon wala na siya mag you know pili it doesn't choose whether you are old or young. Anytime your time is up and you don't know when your time is up is. Atong imuon we have to be ready. That is how to be careful. Pag-andam sa imong kinabuhi. And how do you get ready? By accepting Jesus Christ into your life. Pirmi na ito, nagibalik-balik ka ng challenge ni John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For those visitors who are not yet ready, kung niya ka karoon, hindi ka sigurado kung maatong langit, there are four things in that verse. First, it talks about our destination. Because after this life, there is a destination. That is why you've got to be ready as a kapadulong. You are either going to perish in hell or have eternal life in heaven. Mo na nga mga andam, taas naman yung kapadulong. Ay, bahala na si Lord. Whatever will be, will be. No! It's not up to God. It's up to you. Going to heaven or hell, it's up to you, not up to God. That is why you have to be ready. Ayaw pag-ingon nga, dagan mga mga di na ako, pagkawaman akong kamatay. Special may isa pa yun na, no, di madanag pang di ang soon. Dapat ang mga di sa imong kaugalingong kalawasan, ikaw, ayaw laing tao. Ha? Kano sa manta mga di, kano sa manta mo dawat sa kalawasan, karun! Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Because after you die, eternity is waiting for you. But most of the time we spend, we live our lives making a living, but not making life. Pagandam ta. You know, because regardless of you want to have eternal life, ang problema, we cannot have eternal life because we have problem. Ang problema na to, because we have all seen and fall short of the glory of God. Tungod sa atong sala, di kita malangit. That's why you have to be ready. Masawa man ato pagpangandam. Salamat na lang sa ginoo ng Diyos na higugma sa ato. Gihatag niyang bugtong anak na matay dito sa cross. Paula ang iyang dugo para bayran ang imong kasalanan. What are we going to do to prepare whoever believes in Him, whoever have faith in Him, Ang uban nato magod ang atong pagtuon naa sa relihiyon dili kang Kristo. Ah, ako nan sayo ako na matan mo yakong pakamatyan. Nay ako isiran ka tigwa is balag may impero na og relihiyon basta magpabilin gi kuani. Oh, di oy. You know, it's not about tinuohan, it's about pagtuo. Pwede ka na ay tinuohan pero ay pagtuo. Kay kanang imong tinuohan nagtuo lang ka sa imong relihiyon pero dili ang pagtuo sa Ginoo. That is why, brothers and sisters, you be ready. You need to be ready to prepare God. Amen? To meet God. Palakpakan nato si Lord. Kanos ata mga andam? Karun. Ayaw pagpa-insure sa imong sakyanan, human nga nabanggaan ang imong sakyanan. Dapat magpa-insure ka, wa pa mabangga. Amen. Lamat sa ginoo. We have to prepare. Get ready. Number four, lastly, be extraordinary. Kanang atong kinabuhi igsuon, mubo naman lang ni, ato na lang tudutuduhon pag ginabuhi tinarong. Maximize your life. Si Daniel, oh. Daniel 6 verse 3. Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because of excellent spirit that was in him. See, Daniel was just a foreigner in a foreign land. Naasya dito nagpuyo, they were taken captives actually to Babylon at that time. Ito siya sa Babylonia, the Kwanman sila, underman sa Empire of Babylon. But even though they were foreigners, 
He was just a simple, you know, ordinary Jewish young person. But he exceeded. Bisag asan siya may to exuon. Distinguish himself above. Because he has an ex excellent spirit. You know, kung ako mo sahon ni sa, sa message translation, nangyon niyo, but Daniel brimming with spirit and intelligence so completely outclassed the other vice regents and the governors. Outclassed. Grabe no, excellent spirit. Extraordinary. Outclassed. Dapat kita ang mga Kristuhanon mga kaigsuunan. You know, you may be an ordinary person, but you can do extraordinary things. Ordinaryo lang tingali ka. Pero tuduturuhon na nato ng atong pagka-ordinaryo. You know, don't just stand up, you must stand out. Ang uban nato, stand up ta, pero pareha sa pod, ang level. Kung asa mang kagibutan sa gino, you have to stand out. Distinguish yourself from others. As a Christian, that's got to be our testimony. Na makita nga ang Diyos nagpanalangin sa imo. You excel in honesty, in integrity, mga kaigsuunan nga. Sa imong opisina, makaingon nga, kini mo ay empleyado. Dili kay mag-Facebook, Facebook sa panahon sa trabaho. Kung imo nang buhaton, you are just the same with other people. But if you will do your best, not just for yourself, but, you know, naging ba lang sulatan, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. In everything we do, bisag unsay imong buhaton, buhata sa kahimayaan sa ginoo. Kung nagtrabaho man ka, nagtudlo ka, nagdoktor ka or nurse, buhata na sa kahimayaan sa ginoo. Dili sa imong kaugalingong kahimayaan. Wala ka magtrabaho tinarong kay para mahimaya ang imong kaugalingon. Dapat ang ginoo mo ay mahimaya. Jesus said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You know, life is too short to be ordinary. Mubo naman lang ni atong kinabuhi, tinudon na lang nato. Ina imong kaugalingon, ang imong katupad, tinudon na na lang itag pangalagad sa ginoo. Dili kay magbinuan pa ta, pareha sa puta sa upan. Ang imong silingan, palahubog, ikaw, otro pod. Nag-excel ka, extraordinary sa pagkapalahubog. Pagka na lang. Ha? Adik-adik ang imo mga kauban, o niya ikaw mismo, drag adik po. No, you have to stand out. Kung nagtrabaho ka sa gobyerno, nangurakot sila egsuon. You have to stand out. Distinguish yourself. Because you are a peculiar people. And pinaagi niya na ang mga kaigsuunan, mag-glorify ang Lord sa atong kinabuhi. That is what life is all about. Amen ba? Sa ganito atong life, how do you live carefully? Live. Huh? Be circumspect. Be alert. Be ready. And be extraordinary. Life is too short to be ordinary. That is how we live our life carefully. Nga at the end of our lives, makaingon ta. Nga magbilin tag legacy. Nga dili lang successful ang imong life. Because success is just for yourself. But significance is for other people. If you are doing things for other people, you make an impact and legacy para sa iyo. So ang success, mga kaigsuunan, salamat sa ginoo kung successful ka. But success without significance, it's a failure in the sight of God. So life is here. Live carefully. You've just heard the Christian Life Message Series brought to you by Christian Life Center, 2nd Floor, Diaz Mall, CM Recto Avenue, Davos City. Schedule of Sunday services are the following, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Catch us up on the next program of The Christian Life every Monday from 8.30 to 9 a.m. 
right here on Mango Radio, communicating the love of God. Thank you.